Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tess, if you don't know me already. And for this video, I wanted to film a little what's in my travel bag. I know a lot of us are starting to embrace travel again. It's a really exciting time and we all get to have our hot girl summers. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites, what I pack in my bag. I just got back from a little trip to Los Angeles and I want to show you guys some of the skincare, hair care, and makeup that I enjoyed while I was there. I like to travel with things that are just really tried and true, enjoyable, not fussy. I don't want to like second guess things while I'm on my trip and I feel like when you're traveling you're just kind of out of your element. You want things that are just, again, easy and foolproof and help you look and feel your best while you are on your trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video, but before we do, it would mean so much if you subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it. Don't forget I have an Instagram, a podcast, and a TikTok. So if you guys wanna follow me there for more skincare content and esthetician content, Go right ahead. Right, I'm gonna hop into my products, starting with skincare. And I will preface this by saying the brands that I use myself are also brands I retail. And I talk about them and educate about them because these are two brands that I have been very careful in choosing. And I just, I think they are the best of the best, not only for my skin, but for my clients, I love them so dearly, and I know these brands inside and out. I don't hop around too much with skincare. I've struggled with acne for years, and I've finally gotten to a place where it's very, very well managed. I recently did a little post on my Instagram talking about maturation arrest acne, which is the type of acne I struggled with. Dozens and dozens of closed comedones and I'm, I'm just really happy with where my skin is at now. So I don't change up my skincare routine too, too much and I'm sorry if it gets a little repetitive but that is just my reality and I talk about products that are tried and true and this is a tip I have for anyone watching. When you travel, you are essentially exposing your skin to a new environment, new water pH, and just a lot can change. You're also eating probably a little bit differently than you normally would. Maybe your sleeping habits are different. I just think it is the best to maintain your skincare routine when you are on vacation versus going to Target and picking up a bunch of new products where you don't know how your skin is going to react to them. It is changing the routine a little bit. So I would just suggest being consistent. When I worked in a spa, I would hear this all the time from my clients. I would say, how's your routine going? And they would say something like, it was going great. I was using all the products you recommended for me. I was being so consistent. Then I went on vacation, then I went traveling and I picked up a bunch of new stuff and it just wasn't the best for me. So what I recommend is getting travel size of products that you already use and love just to keep it consistent or pick up some little bottles and just put your skincare products into those bottles. You will save money. It's just more efficient and better for your skin to keep things consistent. Starting with this little trio of Is Clinical products. Is Clinical is a brand that I recently brought on for my small business. I've loved Is Clinical for years and years, and I'm just so honored to be able to offer them now. Is Clinical is available from a range of retailers. If you wanna purchase through me and support my small business, you can send me a little DM on Instagram. We'll just have a little conversation about what you're looking for and what you would like because I like to make sure people choose things that are right for their skin. I'm going to start off with my little Is Clinical trial vials, which I wish these were available for purchase, but unfortunately only the larger size is. I just happen to have these from my wholesaler. So 
First we have Pro Heal. This is my vitamin C. It is designed to be a vitamin C that's perfect for rosacea prone skin types, sensitive skin types, anyone who really needs a little bit of healing. Then we have Active Serum. This guy is potent but beautiful. I really love it for acne prone skin types. Even those who struggle with cystic acne, it can be very, very effective. It has three different acids, so it helps to exfoliate, control oil, and control bacteria. It is potent, so you do want to ease into it and just use a couple drops. I like to have this on vacation because my forehead and my T-zone just classic area to get oily, but it just tends to get oily, especially toward the end of the day. So I like to use something like this once a day to really keep that oil at bay and keep my pores looking snatched. Lastly, I have Hydrocool Serum. As I'm talking, I feel so bad that these little trial sizes aren't available for everyone to purchase, but you could still totally travel with the full size. So Hydrocool Serum is really ideal for all skin types and I don't say that super often but it is a really high quality hyaluronic acid it is ideal for oily or dry people you want to apply this on damp skin before your moisturizer I find when I travel I tend to get more dehydrated and I feel like my skin is just always searching for a little bit of moisture so I always like to have this guy on hand. Next, this is kind of a fun one. This is Glymed CBD Power Balm. I love this because it's always on a trip when you have some gnarly irritation or acne flare up or some sort of rash or bug bite or something. This is kind of like insurance for that. If you've seen my big fat Greek wedding where the dad is obsessed with Windex, this is like my version of that. It's just good to have as a safeguard and if you struggle with perioral dermatitis, eczema, any kind of flare-up that is really common around the mouth and it happens to me a lot because I do use active products. I am now using this to kind of maintain calm and balance in this area which can be really sensitive for me and it's interesting because I really only get oily again like here up and this area tends to be more sensitive and dry so I like to use this along with active serum and just kind of secure that area or if I'm using tretinoin or retinoid this will help me to keep this area super hydrated and just like normal and calm so this is kind of like my little secret hack that I'm loving it reminds me of when we used to put Vaseline around our lips in esthetician school before we would do peels it kind of reminds me of that same effect but it has CBD in it so it is much more potent and calming than just a plain Vaseline next for cleansers I like to have two options I feel like most people want to have two options for cleansers in general. I love to use a cream cleanser and then more of a gel cleanser. So my vitamin C cleanser from Glymed Plus, I love this as a morning cleanse or as a first cleanse in a double cleanse. And then I have Gentle Facial Wash by Glymed Plus. This is a 10% glycolic acid face wash. So it can be a little strong for everybody to use twice a day every day, but I like to have it with me because I feel like when you're traveling, there's so many scenarios like getting off of a plane or getting to your destination after a long road trip where you just wanna do a deep clean and maintain your skin while you're traveling. This also gives you a little light exfoliation and I always just feel really clean and glowy after I use it. I love moisturizers. I have like 10 options here at home. So when I travel, I just try to choose one and keep it easy. So this one is a true favorite. This is Daily Repair Mega Moisture Cream by Glymed Plus. 
I love this because it is lightweight, but it does still feel hydrating. It also contains onion bulb, so it helps me to, again, control oil and manage my breakouts, especially while I am traveling. This is a great moisturizer if you are acne prone, but looking for something that's still gonna keep you hydrated, and you can use it in the morning and at night. It's nice and easy, and you get quite a lot of usage out of this little travel size bottle. This will last me probably two months, but it's really easy to travel with. I have my ride or die spot treatment. This is skin medication number five. It is a 5% benzoyl peroxide spot treatment. So many of my acne clients swear by this, even if they feel like they've tried every other benzoyl peroxide on the market. When they try this, they just fall in love because it's so effective, but also very soothing and Again, I like to just have my little tools on hand to help me manage my breakouts in case one were to pop up. Been pretty, pretty blessed, but you just never know. Sometimes traveling can bring some stuff out in your skin, so I like to have this guy on hand. Okay, I'm gonna dive through here for the rest of this. This bag is the cutest thing ever. It's from Neova. They sent it to me. Thank you so much, Neova. It's the perfect size, nice and big. I never claim to be low maintenance, so I just like to have my stuff when I travel. Let me know in the comments if you are an overpacker or an underpacker. I'm gonna show you guys the sunscreens that I bring on vacation. Yes, I have three because I'm insane and maybe you would be okay with just one, but I feel like there's a different occasion for each SPF and I end up wearing all three when I'm on a trip. And again, I just like to have options. I actually have a whole video on sunscreens if you're struggling to find a good one. So I'll link that below in case anybody is struggling to find a good one because I promise you there is a great sunscreen for everybody. And the best sunscreen is the one that you will wear. Okay, starting with Glymed's Photo Age SPF 30. I like this because it is a lotion that blends up to a gel. It's very lightweight, smells like vacation, and it's a good SPF to have for face or for body. I like to wear this if I am doing some sort of workout outside. I don't necessarily want anything tinted on my skin, so I'll grab this for face and body. I have Neova Silk Sheer 2.0. I like to have this on vacation because it's so glowy and I can wear it as my makeup during the day because I am not somebody to put on foundation really <laughs> ever it's rare maybe if I'm going to a really nice dinner but I feel like the beauty of vacation is just you know embracing your natural skin at least for me everyone's different um, but I just like to keep it light and I don't know, just again, I'm not a fussy kind of person when it comes to outfits or looks. I just like to feel comfortable, feel like myself, which is just, I mean, I'm a tried and true California beach girl. <laughs> not so much somebody who lays out in the sun, but I'm just a casual kind of girl. Um, so I love this because it is so lightweight. Neova actually gifted this to me, so I do have a discount code for this product I will put below. It reminds me a lot of Elta MD's UV Clear SPF. It's very lightweight, hydrating, and just glowy and perfect. I can't say enough good things about it. I was just pleasantly surprised. Of course, the Skin Better Science SPF Compact. This guy blew up on social media this year, I think because of the Dallas esthetician. She's the one who influenced me to buy it, and you need to purchase it through a licensed medical facility, so you would have to purchase this through somebody like Savannah or the Dallas esthetician on Instagram, but this is a true gem. I feel like anyone who tries it is just like, Oh my God, it really is that good. It is a silky satin finish. It's not necessarily dewy. It's not necessarily matte. It's like a true satin finish, just very comfortable and lightweight to wear. You can actually wear it as a primer, an SPF, or a makeup. 
I wear it as my makeup because I just like lightweight coverage. I would even wear this out to dinner as my foundation. Again, I'm not packing any um, like normal foundation in my travel bag. My favorite thing ever is to just wear SPF as makeup. So that's what I do. And I also love this because it's so easy to throw in your bag and touch up your skin. I normally apply this with a little foundation brush, but if I'm traveling, I might use the sponge and I'll just throw it in my bag and that way it's so easy to touch up every two hours and you're essentially just like touching up your makeup while you are reapplying your SPF. So it's a win-win. A couple more skincare things I nearly forgot, but I love a mist or a toner, not to spritz my face throughout the day because I think that can actually lead to more dehydrated skin, but I do like it for setting my makeup and I do like it after I cleanse to rebalance the skin's pH. Again, very essential when you are traveling and you're just exposed to a different water pH than you are used to. And I just think in general, it's good to keep the skin hydrated when you are on vacation. So this is a favorite skin recovery mist. All skin types can use it and it's just nice to have in your bag. I do tend to pack a face mask when I go on vacation because I think, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I always like to do something for myself, which is normally my skincare routine at the end of the day when you've been around a lot of people and just doing so many more activities than you would on a normal basis. I think it's just nice to have a little moment of pampering. So this is the mask I tend to bring because it is so multifunctional. You can use it for hydration, rebalancing, calming the skin, even for calming acne. It is the CBD Micro Silver Intensive Hydrotherapy Mask. This came out from Glymed this year and everyone has just been blown away. I have a side-by-side -side of a client who used this in conjunction with the CBD Micro Silver Serum. She is a client who tends to get really inflamed, irritated, and red, so it is just ideal for that. It smells like vanilla bean, and this is just the perfect travel mask, and it's nice and lightweight, easy to throw in here, and I just love this. I just have my handy dandy tretinoin. I am never without it. I know not every esthetician and not every person is a fan of tretinoin but it works really well with my skin it has been extremely helpful in helping me manage my comedonal acne so i love it my derm suggests i keep using it so i'm going to keep using it i tend to use this about every other night and it's just a staple care let's talk about it i'm currently using Unite's Blonda Shampoo and Conditioner. I love these. My hairdresser has been suggesting I get these for the longest time and she gave me some little samples. I love them. I love how they make my blonde look and they're some of the few purple products that I found that don't leave my hair feeling excessively dry. Plus, I feel like when you're a blonde on vacation, you just want to feel like your <laughs> blonde is self. Um, so I really love these for travel. I have Kerastase's Serum Therapist. I purchased this during the Sephora VIB sale because Kerastase is never on sale. And I was kind of on the hunt for a leave-in conditioner product. I've been so impressed by this. I will definitely be repurchasing. It comes out, one side is kind of like a clear serum and the other is more of a leave-in conditioner. I just use one or two pumps. It leaves my ends feeling so conditioned. I feel like my hair looks stronger and I don't have as many split ends, so highly recommend.
Then I have the Wave Spray by The Way. I think this is a really underrated product. Maybe it's not. I just don't see people talk about it that much. If you are after like a beachy, tousled look and you are not somebody who uses hot tools like me, I just don't have the patience. I'm not good at styling my hair. I can't afford to damage my hair because it's already very blonde and thin. So even coloring my hair is kind of risky. Um, so I never use heat on it. And this is just a beautiful product. You can spray it in your hair and put it up in a little clip or do some braids or even just kind of like tossle it around. And it just gives you the most beautiful, naturally textured hair. And I think it's a special wave spray because it doesn't leave your hair like dry and crunchy, but just perfect vacation vibes. Gotta have a clip when you are on vacation. It's just so easy to throw your hair up and it's just like that effortless, sexy, cool vibe. So this is a must. Next, I have the Lumify Eye Drops. These are amazing, 10 out of 10. If you don't have them and you have chronic red eyes or dry eyes like me, you will love this. Okay, I wanted to include this even though I didn't bring it on my trip, I feel like there are some people who would want to know about this product. If you are on the hunt for a great foundation that wears beautifully, that gives you a glow, and you are worried about foundations breaking you out or you are acne prone, you must try Oxygenetics. It is my favorite foundation that I have ever discovered. It just wears beautifully and it actually protects the health of your skin and will not clog your skin or contribute to breakouts. When I first got on YouTube, my acne was at its peak and that's because I was applying full glam all the time with no knowledge that foundations and makeup can contribute to clogging and close comedones. So I was packing on the foundation, primers, blush, cream contour, lots of cream products were harmful for my skin and just led to a lot of clogging and buildup. Um, so highly suggest Oxygenetics if you are looking for a good acne safe foundation. Okay, next I have the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops by Drunk Elephant. I like this because it's a skincare product that works as a makeup product. And this is just a super beautiful bronzer. If you already have this product, you already know it's the GOAT. But it's just lovely. For my very fair skin type, I only need a teensy tiny amount. And I will either blend it into the foundation I'm using or just put a little bit on my cheeks, forehead, and nose and it's just a really beautiful glowy product but if you had a darker skin tone this would be beautiful all over just for a little bit of a vacation glow. When I think of like a vacation glowy makeup product this is it. Next, I have a bronzer and a highlighter by Fair Minerals, one of my favorite makeup brands. So I have their bronzer in faux tan and the highlighter in the shade free. Not gonna lie, I bought these because I saw Hailey Bieber using them, but I'm obsessed. They're wonderful. I actually like to use them to set my makeup. So I'll just apply a little bronzer on kind of the edges of my face and a little highlight. I also love to pack these because they're kind of multifunctional for an eye look. I love to put the bronzer in my crease and the highlighter on my inner corner and my lid. Super pretty and again, multifunctional. If you're either not a blush person at all or you're obsessed with it, I'm starting to be obsessed with it. I never used to wear it because I felt like my skin had too much redness and now that I don't have as much redness, my skin's stronger. I want a little bit of color back in my face. I'll be honest, sometimes I don't wear blush and I'll just stick with bronzer. But if I'm in the mood, I think blush is just so cute. This is by Jane Iredale. This is their Pure Pressed Blush in Barely Rose. Also doubles as a little eyeshadow. I always pack Total Eye by Color Science. 
This is a color corrector, but I also use it as like a little bit of concealer under the eyes. I like it because it has SPF 35 in it. Your eyes are one of the areas that is the first to show signs of aging. So we want to protect it. I feel like growing up and even in recent years, I didn't think to put SPF on my eyes. So this is a great little hack for that just to make sure you're protected. I have a new favorite eyeliner. I also got this at the Sephora sale. It was actually discounted even more like it was on sale sale and then it was 25% off I think. So this was a steal. This is the highliner gel eye crayon in the shade brown out. It is so seamless and easy to apply. One of my favorite looks that I put on for the video is just a quick little line on the outer outer two thirds of the eye. And then I just blend with my finger and kind of soften it in. That way I feel like when I apply mascara, if it gets on my lid, it's less noticeable. And it also makes your eye pop at the same time. But this is just a really pretty brown kind of sparkly but not overly sparkly kind of just like a shimmery shade really really cute i can never be without this product this is one of my desert island products it is just anastasia's clear brow gel on a daily basis my normal look is usually just the neova sunscreen and this guy i keep it really really basic but this is just a great tried and true eye gel keeps them up all day and my favorite thing to do before I go on vacation is to tint my brows. I actually have a TikTok on how I tint my brows. And then I can just lay some clear gel down and they look good. They look done. I don't have to pack any eyebrow pencil products and it's just easier. New favorite mascara. I was struggling for a little bit. I could not find a mascara I was obsessed with, and I have found her. It is the Kosas Big Clean Mascara. I'll show you guys the brush because I feel like that's important. She is a little thick. I myself like a thick, chunky brush. I, I just don't like the skinny ones. I know a lot of people do, so just a fair warning, she's a little thick and it comes with a curled wand. I feel like that way you don't need to pack a eyelash curler and this just gives me volume. I'm somebody who likes a lot of volume with their mascara and I just think it's great. I'm gonna get the full size. Lastly, we have lip products. I like to bring a lot of lip products on vacation because you just want one at the ready. You want one in your purse. You want one in your makeup bag, in your skincare bag. And I don't know, I feel like lip products are just so fun. And again, there is an occasion for every lip product. <laughs> so I have a couple absolute favorites here. Let's start with the Glymed ones. I have Lip Science. If you want a plumping effect, you gotta try Lip Science, it's pretty incredible. You just want the tiniest, tiniest amount and you wanna keep it to the lip area. If it travels outside that, you will get some redness, which is not irritation, it's just what the product was intended to do, which is really plump up the lips. It has vasodilators to really plump them up. So if you get it outside the, outside the lip, you're gonna notice that. So just tiny, tiny bit of this. Then I put the Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm on top. This is super nice for an evening, chill, clear lip look or when you just want some hydration before bed. It's a nice anti-aging routine for your lips. Next, I have my little daytime lip trio and something I wish I could tell my younger self is to put SPF on your lips. I now struggle with fine lines on my lips because likely from sun damage, eating, drinking, our lips just get so much movement. So we really wanna protect them with SPF. I have found the holy grails. First, we have the Plump Line Lip Liner by Buxom. TikTok made me buy this, but it is just 
a beautiful, beautiful lip liner that's going to give you volume. I have the shade Hush Hush. And my trick is I just lightly outline the top. I don't color in the middle. I find just doing the top and then rubbing my lips together, I get a perfect little wash of color that's not too much. Next, we have the Paula's Choice Anti-Aging Lip Gloss. I feel like this lip gloss is hot girl summer, like we are protecting our lips, we are hydrating our lips, we are putting on some color. It is just perfect, I love it. Some of you asked, because I posted this on my Instagram, some of you asked if it tastes like SPF. Taste it a little bit, but it's not overpowering, and it is just so worth it because our lips are one of the thinnest, most fragile skins on our face. So we really want to protect it. We have the Lip Shine by Color Science, one of my favorite brands. They make amazing mineral SPFs and makeup. I love this shade. It is the shade Champagne, and it's more of a nudie pink. So the Paula's Choice is more of a sheer wash of pink color, and this is a little bit more of a true nude, but it's a little bit translucent, not totally opaque, so it is forgiving. I'm really enjoying finding lip glosses that enhance my makeup look and protect my lips at the same time. All right, guys, that is it for what is in my cosmetics travel bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything in here that piqued your interest that you're curious to try. I hope you guys have safe and happy travels and enjoy your hot girl summer. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.